Hello everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Casual Couch Gaming, with your host, Magnus Sanami. And for today's episode, Micro Machines 64 Turbo. I hope you enjoy. So, we are going to be playing through the one player missions today in Micro Machines 64. Right, now we are Bye, choosing yeah. which player we are going to be driving hey, as. Hello. So we have decided to play Hello. as Chen. Hmm. Which challenge will we go? The beginner's challenge. Nice. Okie dokie. So, first up is Swerve Shot. So let's see how this race goes. So Chen will be versing Dwayne, Jade, Spider and Bonnie. Let's see how he goes in today's race. Off to the starting line. And off he goes. Seems like we're racing on what looks like a pool table. A tsunami secure. Sorry, not tsunami. Chen secures the lead in first position. And the other racers are so far behind. Chen is having no problems here whatsoever as he's jumping all over the place, taking that jump and leaving a skid mark behind. Jumping over another jump. I dare say Chen has got this victory in the bag as he's quite far ahead and I can't see any of the other races taking that corner out beautifully. I dare say that this race is just too easy for Chen and oh he's overlapped another racer. Well what a significant win as Chen celebrates his victory quite nicely. Well done Chen. Thanks for a good race. And he's unlocked an ice cream car. Nice. Nicely done. Okay, next one, Periodic Park. Ooh, we get to drive as tanks. This should be interesting. And Dwayne has made a remark. Well, I think if we're in tanks, there might be some burning as people are firing shots and the whole group has now destroyed itself Leading Chen is now so far ahead, I don't think he has to worry about any of the other races at all. Hmm, it's quite peaceful and ominous as Chen is driving through the periodic table. Wow, Chen must be a really good racer. I don't see any sign of the other races whatsoever. And Chen decides to start firing randomly. Is he going for that power up? Nope, he decides not to, but runs into a jar instead. Ooh, he's picked up a power. Ooh, landmines. Nice. Well, I wonder if the other players are going to run into those as he goes straight into what looks like a beaker, firing off randomly. I don't know what Chen is hoping to do here with those uh, cannon shots, or rather, should I say the artillery shots. Uh, maybe he's just trying to randomly fire them. Oh, that one came close. It ricocheted and almost got Chen. <laughs> I'm actually quite surprised that shot actually hit the floor. Well, no other races in sight. I dare say Chen has got this victory in his bag. Not a problem for Chen at all. Another smashing victory here for Chen in first position. Well, that was rather easy. Hmm, I wonder when we're going to have a challenge. And another car unlocked for Chen. Well done. Okay, so the next race is called Cheesy Jumps. Well, let's see how cheesy this race is, shall we? Come on, time to race. Off to the starting line. It looks like we're on a breakfast table now. There's salt shakers everywhere and spoons and cereal spelt all over the place. And uh, Chen runs into a toast and a salt shaker as the other racers shunt and bump each other. Ooh, almost falling off the table, but missing the jump entirely, and the game has penalized Chen for trying to take a shortcut. So now Chen is in last position, skidding out on the puddle of milk left behind on the table, and Chen is trying to carefully traverse the track, bumping the purple player and bumping into a knife and bread almost going onto that cheese jump goes around the box 
but then gets penalized again. You would think after the first time of being penalized, he would have tried to stay in the main area of the road. But Chen is trying to regain his position. He's currently in fourth. I don't think Chen is doing too well on this track today. I mean, he did marvelously on the other two tracks, but he has now come fourth. I don't think he's going to be too happy about that. And Bonnie comes first. Oh, that was ah, yes, he's definitely disappointed there, ladies and gents. Okay, so we got to try that again. Because I believe that you need to actually qualify in order to progress. So we are trying the track again. Chen is trying to secure his position. Starts off with a good start, but runs into the cereal bowl. Taking the corner nice and slowly. Ooh, almost misses the jump yet again. Gets stuck behind the Wheaties box, but manages to get straight back onto track. Almost skidding out over the puddle of milk as Chen is swerving all over the place. The first position player seems to have some sort of like claw attached to the front of their car as Chen is skidding all over the place. He takes the other cheese uh, jump, which seems to help him. Maybe that's what Chen should do, is take the outer jump. He's slowly regaining on first, but decides to... Oh no, no! Oh, and he's fallen off the table. That's not good. That's gonna cost him. And he's fallen off again. Oh dear, this is really going to cost Chen now. Yep. It's cost him so much that he's come in dead at last at fifth position. I don't think he's going to be too happy about that. As Bonnie secures first position again, Chen conveys his frustration at coming last. Third but final try, as they say, third time's the charm. And I guess the same here. If you don't succeed, try, try, try again. Don't ever give up as Chen secures the lead. He seems to be going a little bit slower this time so that he can try to stay on track as he runs into the cereal bowl and the knife. But he's managing to stay in the middle of the track, which will help him as he tries to not skid out on that same puddle of milk. Hitting the salt shaker, almost clipping the orange, clipping the weeding box and the piece of toast. Jeez, uh, Chen. You've got to stop clipping everything as he takes that jump beautifully. I think Chen is taking this race very slowly as he hits the pepper shaker. Well, I don't know, was that a pepper shaker or a toothpicks box? I really don't know what that was, but regardless, he's trying to avoid a lot of the hazards as he runs into another knife. Mm, this track is very filled with obstacles. Has he secured his win here? Nicely done, Chen. Sometimes slow and steady does win the race. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes slow and steady does win the race as he unlocks what looks like a hippie van. Lucky last race, Windaloo drive through. Ah, interesting. A Chen is now driving what looks like a pickup truck, or one of those trucks that um, shovel up sand. Interesting. And now they are on a dinner table. As they bump and shunt each other, Chen has secured the lead as he honks in celebration. Grabbing a power-up, he's now got a green shield. But, oh, and Chen has fallen off the table. Oh, that's going to cost him. Is this going to cost him the game? And he falls off the table again. Oh, jeez, come on, Chen. Stay on the track, will ya? This is not good for Chen as he's in last position. Manages to get back into third position. Just passing the second player, almost going off the edge again. Wow, Chen's really not having much luck in this race. He's in second position at the moment. T tries to take the inside corner, but gets, uh, hits the reserved sign. Manages to overtake the first position, just barely hanging on to the table there as he grabs the shield power up. Is he going to fall off again? No, he's learnt this time that that corner will end up 
in his demise, taking the corner slowly as that napkin almost ends up spelling his demise. Wow, these table hazards are almost life-threatening. <laughs> Who would have thought a napkin, a knife, or a fork, or cheese, or anything could end up ending somebody's life? Well, I've heard of choking hazards, but I've never heard of falling hazards. How's that for crazy? As Chen is slowly traversing the track, trying to stay on and trying not to fall off, he decides to discard his power-up as he wasn't using it, and the other players or the other racers seem so far behind that Chen doesn't have to worry. And I think if Chen makes any mistakes, it will give him some room to move as he collects another power-up. What is this power-up? As he clips another piece of cutlery. Oh, he's picked up some rockets. As he fires the two last rockets in celebration, he celebrates his victory. Well done, Chen. And he has now unlocked another car. Well done, Chen. And that is the Beginner's Cup complete. As Chen gets given the gold medal for winning. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's it for today's episode. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Magnus. Tsunami. Oh.